Oh man, the internet is the best thing in the world. I don't know how every time I somehow look on Reddit, which that's my first problem. I should never go on r slash metalcore. I find something new that makes me question life question sanity and question just why so um there's this new reddit thread on r slash metalcore the title the title is good enough um is is is, is already good enough to sell this but she left me because of metalcore 1100 upvotes in a, in 22 hours on r slash metalcore let's let's go man let's go also did you know that 47 percent of you aren't subscribed hit the subscribe button down below hit the notification bell come hang out we do fun metal things here so uh, i'm gonna read this properly like a narrator first date tall pretty girl with blonde hair all right i pick her up and we're on our way to a restaurant and then i ask her what kind of music she likes this, this has to be fake this has to be a copy pasta. She says Taylor Swift and that kind of stuff. In brackets, I'm sorry, my fellow metalheads. I know. Nothing. Hey, that look. Nothing wrong with being a Swifty. Nothing wrong with it. Chill out. You know, I. She. He probably picked her up from Starbucks. That's fine. She got her pumpkin frap ready to go. Let's do it. After this, which big mistake, by the way. So I let her control the ox for a little bit, bro. Why? She just said, nothing wrong with the swift life. But then you're giving her the, the power of the ox, man. The power of the of the ear. You need ears to listen. And you're gonna ruin them? Why, bro? Why are you doing the way? I got I gotta I gotta make sure I'm focused in properly for this. We we can't be f***ing around here talking about this stuff. Then she wanted me to play the kind of stuff I'm into. Alright. Big mistake, lady. Being into metalcore and all, I was super reluctant. Reluctant. So all I said was, you're probably not gonna like it. Fair take, fair response. You know, it's kind of awkward because if you're trying to you know uh create a relationship with this with this person a long 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 relationship she's eventually gonna know your dirty secret that, that you're into some five seven eight breeze and bless brother I, I, you know what i mean like so you you can't really hide it there's no hiding it it's like ripping off a band-aid all right just get it done get it done i listen to metalcore and she said of course i will what cap <laughs> Oh God, oh God, lady. Of course I will, you f this one up. You f this one up. And his choice, of course, very important choice. I chose Meltdown by Motionless and White. Motionless and White goes down. I feel like Meltdown's a fair track to play. I feel like if you're easing a non, a non-core connoisseur into this genre, you know, a Swifty especially, I would personally start maybe with like some Bring Me. Uh, is Spirit Box is actually really good. Bad Omens. Baddie Core goes great for Swifties. Um, uh, Motionless and White I think is actually a pretty good pick. However, I would say the mistake make made here was Meltdown. Meltdown is a bit too. A bit too uh, in your face, a bit too aggressive right here. Like, I feel like motionless, good pick, but you should have eased her in maybe with another life, eternally yours. You know what I mean? I feel like that, that would have fit the vibe a little better, but let's continue the story here. All right. I chose Meltdown by Motionless and White. As soon as I hit click, click play, I turned to look at her, kind of side -e eyeing her, and she's just smiling at me. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's, you know, a nice little smile from the corner there. Just life is beautiful. Then. Blech. And just like that, she makes a disgusted face and looks panicked. <laughs> this had to be a Hard Times article. There's no way. So I hit pause. Long story short, she went on to be very quiet for most of the night while we were out eating. And then I walked her to her door like a gentleman. She looks at me and says, your music sucks and turns and goes inside. And I'm just holding my arms out ready for a hug, like smiley face ham. <laughs> She was not the one, bro. She was not the one. Now, this is probably a, a copy past the shit post, but we're going to entertain this as this being real for now. Wait, wait, wait. Before, 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 we, before we get to uh, things that could have been done to avoid this, edit. Am I overreacting by typing all of this, or did she overreact? At any rate, I doubt we'll be seeing each other anytime soon. If you're here, then thank you for reading all the way down. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> did, yeah, I feel like Brendan from Counterparts posted this. <laughs> so... Look, first mistake, like, I don't know homie's name, all right? But first mistake, core homie over here, giving over the power of the aux cord. Why? Don't do that. No one in your car deserves the power of the aux cord. You know why? It's not their fucking car. Simple. First mistake, talk to a girl. No, it's, no, it first, it's first mistake. I can't with Chad, I swear to God. I can't take you guys anywhere. First mistake, 
The power of the aux core. Mistake number two, homie. Song choice. Motionless. Actually great pick. But come on, bro. You're starting with Meltdown? You're starting with Meltdown here with a Swifty? What you doing, bro? You know what you should have done? Ready? Ready? We cars. Blank space. Wait, no. I prevails. Blank space cover. Or we cars. What's the other one? Now I forgot. I'm, a f I'm, the, I'm the metal core poser here. I knew you were trouble. Thank you. Easy. Like, bro, she told you what you like. You like the same thing. You just have to put the band. Come on, bro. Or Nick Nocturnal's blank space cover. That's all. Be like, oh, you're a Swifty? Me too. <laughs> Bang, bro. She would have known the lyrics and all. <laughs> Nick loves to speculate. Stop lying, Nick. I'm, I'm trying to help y'all. If you encounter a Swifty in the wild, as a core kid, I'm explaining to y'all how to deal with the situation. You're welcome. This is real life shit, yo. Come on. Paula Swifty? Obviously not, because she dealt with my metalcore bullshit. Paula's the opposite. Paula, Paula. I would, I would put on probably like, like some. I'd put on. I'm be the one putting on metalcore, and she'd be like, "What, what the fuck is this? Is this Backstreet Boy shit?" And then she throws on like Job for a Cowboy or like Despised Icon, and be like, "This is the real musics." And that's when I knew she was the one forever. Let's look at the comments here. All right, let's look at the comments. If she can't handle you at your plus, she doesn't deserve you at your arf arf. <laughs> Stupid. You knew she was trouble when she walked. <laughs> oh my god. I went on a date with a guy I met on Hinge and he asked what kind of music I like. I said metal mostly and he was like, oh, the kind that screams. I was like, yeah, it's my fave. And he got the most concerned, uncomfortable look on his face. And you listened to that on the way here? Yeah, dude, I did. There was no second date. From now on, using this blood test to scare off the normie girls. <laughs> Wait, guys, yeah. Wait till they hear about and and holy f Blez just level one, bro. Didn't even get to arf arf. Didn't even get to it. Mike, wait till they see my face. Oh, f I'm sorry about that. This this has to be a copy pasta. I mean, as important music is to a lot of people, that shouldn't be the only thing that either draws you towards or someone else. My fiance, th this was a serious answer. Who's gonna fucking answer this seriously? Like, come on, come on, Reddit. Come on. Dodged a bullet. Could have found this out much later. Forget her. Well, she didn't dodge the bullet for my Valentine. <laughs> this is a good copy fast. These tears ain't falling. This, I love this one. This absolutely did not happen. Big Mike, I did. It did. I was there. Oh my God. Yeah. Next time, just, just straight up, bro. Like, start with... Like, start with Into the Hellfire. Like, I don't know what the f*** you're doing there. Like, come on. Just go all in. Go go, go, go to something that even makes you uncomfortable. Then you can relate. You can be like, yeah. I don't even know what f***ing noise that deathcore dude made. I love this wall of sound. There you go. You're good. <laughs> you're good. I love Reddit. It's so fun.